Mary Beth and I are here with Colleen Sutton at the Richwood on the river. And she's gonna give us some information about what's going on with it and some of the things she has planned for it. Now you are the new owner of Richwood, right? I am the new owner. Very, very excited and blessed to be the new owner of Richwood on the river. Oh, wow. Now Richwood is located where? We are in Milton, Kentucky, which fortunately is only a few miles from Madison, Indiana. Yeah, that's great. Now, there was something you wanted to ask Colleen. Well, I wanted to ask how Colleen found the Richwood and what brought her here. Um, that's a great story, and I promise you I will try to concise it down <laughs> to, to, a <laughs> to a shorter version. Um, I am a wedding planner. I've had uh, been in the wedding industry for uh, about 25 years, and uh, with my business, I was fortunate enough to have clients that one had chosen Richwood uh, on their own right. so i came to the property to do a site visit pulled in the driveway and said how does nobody in cincinnati know about this place <laughs> and that was that hidden was 2009 treasure. absolutely hidden treasure yes. so immediately i put a little bug in sam the previous innkeeper's ears and said if you ever want to retire uh, if the owners would like to sell, please let me know without okay. having any kind of knowledge as, as to how that would, would happen. And I was lucky enough to be hired again by a couple that was looking for a venue for this May. And when they described the venue that they were looking for, I was like, oh, I've got the perfect place. So I picked up the phone, called Sam, left a message, and he called me back within about 10 minutes and said, I am in my office looking for your business card. He said, aren't you the wedding planner that wants to buy Richwood? And I said, yes. And he said, it's for sale. Oh, wow. And that was about a year ago. That was March yes. of 2015 and October 1st, 2015, we uh, acquired the property. Oh my god. In so a whirlwind of events, yes. absolutely. So yeah. if you dream, dream big because uh, it happens. So, yes. And be careful, they might come true. They might come, be, be careful what you wish for, <laughs> absolutely. I had a wonderful really? friend say to me, throughout the process of, of purchasing the property because it was right. it was a little frightening at times. Right. You know, is this really happening? And she said to me, if your dreams don't scare you, you are not dreaming big enough. Correct. So and, I am and driving in here with this panoramic view of the river, especially um, all seasons mm -hmm. are just so appealing it's to amazing. to even driving by. And the trees here are right. huge. They're much fun. I mean, just the way it's settled and it yes. appears on the lot is just is just beautiful. So I could see very very well what attracted you here. There is an incredible energy here that you are even on a day like today where it's a little overcast and wow. rainy. There is still such beauty here that yes. it, it's I I'm blessed and being measure. and being as a, a decorator for myself. It's mm -hmm. the whimsical interior, so oh. unexpected and surprising yes. once you once you come in the layout. Uh, it's just amazing. It's comfortable and cozy and warm and friendly, but yet there are different areas that are very different. Yes. Uh, we, you know, we have the house, which is very historic, and our bedrooms in the house, we have five bedrooms, very luxurious, very comforting, very lots of antiques, so it's of the period. Yes. Uh, then we're fortunate enough to have our carriage house, which is where we do most of our weddings and events. We don't just do weddings, but we have two luxury apartments, so more modern conveniences, and then we have six cabins on the property, and one of them is kind of like our honeymoon cabin, so it's really cute and quaint and cozy. There is a fireplace and a whirlpool bathtub. But then we have our rustic cabins, so lots of wood. Uh, two of them are real wood-burning fireplaces, so right. you can really come and stay at Richwood and get a different feeling staying in these different parts of the property. And you can escape. You can oh, escape. Yes. You can personalize. Absolutely. You can ask people when they yes. call in, um, Colleen also is running a pretty successful bed and breakfast, yes. which is which is very good to know for travelers that come into uh, yeah. through the tri-state area. Absolutely, absolutely. We're incredibly um, excited about the bed and breakfast part. Yes. We in January. So once we were just talking about how 
all times of the year, all seasons, that we can offer people a reprieve. Right. We did over 40 room nights in January on this property. So people are looking to come out. Yes. And what Mary Beth was just talking about, we can personalize your stay here. So if you're looking for a couple's massage, or it's your anniversary and you would like to have flowers or wine or something in your room, we're fortunate, like I said, that we're so close to Madison. Right. There are great vendors that are there that can accommodate any requests that our guests have and then with my relationships with the local vendors we can custom that and that, that can be on yet. short notice absolutely you, know? you yeah. can call me the day you're arriving right. <laughs> so if you forget those hours. days with your anniversary or your wife's wedding or your significant other you have colleen to call to yes. make it look like it was planned months in advance absolutely and you just we'll don't tell care. you just don't tell <laughs> Absolutely. So, Absolutely. something I think that's very interesting about your rooms in the mansion is the theme rooms. And yes. you may want to tell us a little bit about that. They are well. unique. So we have we have the five bedrooms that are here in the mansion. Um, two of them are our adjoining suite. So we have the plantation room and we have the Richwood room and they have uh, an adjoining bathroom so they share a bathroom. And the Richwood room is probably the the has the most I, maybe I would say history. Uh, Samuel Fern's wife, uh, she actually died during childbirth in that room. So there are some people that feel that perhaps Richwood might be a little on the haunted side. <laughs> I would personally like to say that if there are any spirits here, they are extremely friendly spirits and they are very happy that we are here. So, and my sisters live on the property. We have yet to have any kind of crazy experiences, but the Richwood room did have, did have some, I guess, sad history behind yes. it. We have our Riverview room. So that room is when you're pulling in the driveway and you you see that the mansion for the first time, your eyes are immediately drawn to a beautiful balcony. Yes. So the Richwood room has that amazing balcony that you can enjoy uh, a beverage or, or a cup of coffee in the morning. See and the that sun rise and see, set. Absolutely. And we can serve you breakfast on that balcony as well. On and that room also has a unique bed, doesn't it? Uh, you're going to have to tell me about that. There are some things that I don't know about yet. Well, it's it's a very nice bed made out of wood, and of course, it's it's old. Most of the furniture, I did have a, an appraiser come through uh, to talk about some of the pieces yes. that are in this house. Absolutely. And I don't know if that bed has been here the entire time, but it certainly looks like it. It does. The the Richwood room, the River View, and yes. I think Rosemary has period piece furniture. Mm -hmm. McKinley does not. McKinley actually has some newer furniture made to look old. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying, wow, that's news to me is when I purchased the property, I purchased it as is. Yes. So everything was already decorated. Everything was already here. Yes. So there are some things that I personally am still learning about uh, with furniture. With Some people ask me specific questions about certain mm -hmm. pictures and I don't have all of the answers yet. Now how old is Richwood? The original part of the house, which is the kitchen um, and the living room yes. and the summer cottage, which was the original kitchen for the homestead, can date back to about 1793. Samuel Fern III purchased the property and then built the front part, the Italianate section of the house. Yes. And that was finished construction in 1803. And the last thing he did was build the hallway adjoining the two houses together. And if you notice when you come in, anything on this side, there is a step up which also means there is a step down <laughs> and uh, he built the house up a little bit higher than the original homestead. So the property itself as Richwood, 1803. And that common area that joins the two periods together is just so beautiful. Thank you. Um, it's uh, just, as we mentioned with the panoramic scene and, yes. and, and being that atrium appeal to be able to, everything's so accessible here mm -hmm. on the property. So many amenities, accessibility. Yes and things that you have to offer so that seven day a week bed and breakfast becomes more appealing. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Yes. And I guarantee once you step through the doors and you see this beauty, it's you'll feel like you're you're definitely in uh, maybe Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, it does remind you of that. <laughs> it's definitely a Southern charm. Yes. Definitely a Southern charm. And I think that's one of the things that I, it appealed to me so much with this property is it's very tranquil, it's very serene, it's very peaceful. 
yet there is the amenity of that hometown, small hometown, yes. Madison, that's so close. So there's those conveniences. So when we do events on the weekend, so we'll rent the entire venue for uh -huh. a wedding or a family reunion or an anniversary party. They get the property from Friday until Sunday. Now we can accommodate up to 40 guests on the property. Now, if it's a wedding, 40 of those people may not be part of the wedding. So we're, we're what, what do they have to do while they're here? That's where Madison comes in. Yes. So there's antiques and boutiques and cafes and chocolatiers and flower shops. Yes. And there's just all of these great things hiking. for that. And hiking at River Falls, Falls yes. which is so wonderful. Heritage Trails. Um, that's there's so much even if you look and you're just now getting ready to join the Chamber of Commerce. I did join the Chamber. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yes, yes. 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 coming up that we, we <laughs> want to discuss with Colleen. But um, probably those brochures and all those things will be uh, readily available, and I'm sure that she can tell you on the phone when you call in to yes. to make your uh, accommodations. But there's so much to do in Madison, even though it's a town of 13,000. It's yeah. Um, the hidden treasures of Clifty Falls the State Park, the unreal. Heritage mm -hmm. Trail along the Ohio um, it, it's just amazing to see uh, what lies within a small town just across the bridge so and I'm from a small town in upstate New York so small towns are near and dear to my heart yes. but that was really what finalized moving forward with purchasing was Madison was so close right because you do want to offer your guests some other things and why do people want to come to Richwood what what makes us unique and special and I think part of that is we have the amenities yes. of that small town yes. and if somebody didn't know that we have a all-season hot tub on the property and we also have a in-season in-ground swimming pool Fortunately, there are some areas that I can send them to in Madison where they can purchase a swimsuit. Right. So, so we can take care of it all. And, and there's, <laughs> there are some times that you just want to get away with your family yeah. and have a serene retreat like you were talking Absolutely. about. I mean, in all seasons, whether it's in the fall for right. maybe a mm -hmm. pumpkin carving event or, you know, a Thanksgiving early uh festive event. Um, she's got all these um, possibilities of venues that you could have here. Yes, absolutely. Girlfriends weekend. Perfect. Oh, yes. And we have many of those. And the way the property's laid out, you can have almost any type of event you want because you can use any part of the grounds outside. You can come inside if you want or you know if you don't want to use the big meeting room you can come into the dining room in absolutely, there. Absolutely. So you have a there's a lot there's a lot of flexibility. We can do yes. events 30 or less in the house. We can accommodate up to 120 to 180 depending on right. your situation in the carriage house and on our outdoor terrace, but we can do tented events for up to 400. Yes. So we're situated on approximately 117 acres and probably about maybe 50 of those are manicured and w yes. within the area which is, of people Which to is use. appealing to our corporate market yes. where they can have a company retreat. Um, she has a large kitchen, whether you would want to do you know a large meal and they have great dining rooms where you could um, ha even have your huddle areas in those right. dining rooms. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite rooms is right off the kitchen where she has a kind of, it, it can even be like a bourbon tasting room. Absolutely. With a fireplace and, and it's just has so so much charm in there. And then you could step off the back for a cigar or mm -hmm. uh, a nice little yes. break with a drink and, and yes. just enjoy the scenery around you. So endless amenities here. It's, it really is. Uh, in in the fact that you can do things in so many different areas on the property, you can really feel like right. you're in more than one place when you're really all. all now, the day that you have the open house, you're going to have different tents set up for different things. And we're we're hoping four. we have. A, I believe we are now up to 24 vendors, um, oh, and they're wow. going to be event and wedding ven vendors. Yes. So not just That's, for weddings. Yes, and they're going to showcase their talents um, and their products here. And the, the idea is that weather permitting we will be the vendors will be located within the mansion right um, on some of the porches the outside areas as well as the carriage house and on the terraces so I'm not right now setting up any tents 
Right now with the number of vendors that we have, I can accommodate them within the spaces that I do have yeah. and most of them are covered. So we should be okay. But we're really excited uh, to showcase some local vendors from the area as well as of course showcasing our venue yes. for, for anything, whether you are just looking for an overnight retreat or if you are looking for a place for an anniversary party, a company picnic, uh, wedding events so now when people come to the open house what can they expect to see and what date is it it is sunday april 24th the event is from 2 p.m to 5 p.m and we will have vendors in categories such as catering we have photographers we have woodworkers we have musicians we have some ministers we have florists we have the madison trolley we have Oh, I'm, I'm, I know I'm Bakery missing. And sweet oh. We have sweet treats. <laughs> so I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so Leave it to me. There, yes, the sugar, yes, yes. The sugar, the chocolate. And, uh, but there will be all the caterers will be serving bites. All of the bakeries and other um, sweeteries will be serving uh, lovely things. And, and uh, you know, most of the other vendors will have some of their products as well to showcase. So we'll have registration. We're asking everybody to sign in. We have a small little bag to give them so they can put everybody's business cards yes. in one place and everything will be open on the property so all the rooms uh, people will be able to go through and walk through we can do guided tours if somebody needs us to but we will also have a table so most of my staff will be uh, manning that yes. table as well as registration um, but the one thing I'm, I'm most excited about that I'm hoping that we can um, uh, we can do with our open houses we have six weekends left to book for our wedding season at right. Richwood and we are offering some pretty great incentives to couples that maybe are looking still this year 2016 for a wedding venue and we'd love to fill those weekends up if we don't fill those weekends up within the next three weeks, then we will actually open those weekends to bed and breakfast, oh, which I know yes. there are a lot of people that would love to come out in the summer and the fall. And we usually always say, oh, sorry, we have a wedding that weekend. So to be able to say to those customers, we now have these weekends right. available, I, I, I think that's going to be a great uh, venue for uh, avenue for us as oh, well and so. it's so great because of where uh, Colleen is located it's so centrally located on the Ohio mm -hmm. that Madison has so many festivals mm -hmm. so you may want to check your calendars and your personal agendas and then call Colleen because she may have an availability for you yes. one of those weekends and I, I guarantee you with staying here and being able to travel just across the bridge and attend one of their festivals mm -hmm. would be a very fun filled pack weekend yes Absolutely. Absolutely. And then if you if you realize this is centrally located between Cincinnati, Indianapolis, and Louisville, that's even nicer because if you don't want to drive all the way into Louisville for something, you can stay here and then go into Louisville the next morning. You're just... We just had that happen. We had a family. Uh, it was two moms and there, uh, there were seven of them. So two moms and five kids. <laughs> and I don't know what it was that they were attending in Louisville, but they right. went to an event on, a, on Saturday and they were from Cincinnati and they didn't want to drive all the way back to Cincinnati. So we were that halfway point. Oh, yeah. So they got here for the evening, spent the evening, had a great breakfast in the morning, hopped in their car and went on the way. And they called me back and they've already booked Chautauqua weekend. <laughs> Fabulous. So, Fabulous. And, and once great. you come here, I, I guarantee, like myself, you'll be a repeat customer. We hope so. so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just something else to mention is um, during the week, uh, Madison now is growing with their manufacturing industry. And this is a great place yes. to stay during the week. I, I happened to uh, do an event with Colleen, and she had um, a traveler staying here mm -hmm. that was doing some contracting work. And it was so nice to see her and, and have coffee and a conversation but she just loved she loved staying here she was very passionate about yes. Colleen meeting her and it was just uh, you know a great conversation full of energy we've had uh, more business travelers than I anticipated and they're they're looking for something more than what just a normal hotel can give they want a little more bit personal. more personal attention and the comforts of home so many people travel for a living and I right. think they just get tired and hotels do a great job at what they do 
but I think people sometimes are just looking for something a little bit more personal. And of course, when I'm cooking breakfast, I'm very personal. <laughs> we have lots to talk about. And you know, I would not be in this business if I didn't enjoy talking. And uh, it's just a really nice opportunity to invite those business travelers and give them an opportunity to stay somewhere a little bit different. Well, I think it's really nice for the companies that are close by, any of the manufacturers here, if they realize that Richwood is here and they have a client that they need to come out to visit the plant, they can recommend the Richwood Plantation. I think it's a little special. That would be wonderful. We a little would special really touch enjoy to that. the visit. Absolutely. So personable over here too. So that yes. you know, if you if you really want to hire someone and you really want to set a good impression with them, it's probably a good idea to send them over to talk to Colin. You know, it's it's so funny though because like bed and breakfast was not on my radar. <laughs> right. And being a, a wedding planner and being in the wedding industry for over 25 years, that was really my focus. My focus was. I wanted to continue doing my business and, and most weddings are the weekend and I'm away from my family all weekend. I have one daughter and she's growing up so quickly oh. and I, I really started to focus on I would love to purchase a beautiful home where I could do weddings and events at my home and then and then be home with my family. Yes. And so Richwood was definitely a little bit bigger than what my dream was. And bed and breakfast was, like I said, not on my radar. But fortunately, my father and my stepmother ran a bed and breakfast in upstate New York for 10 years when I was in high school and through college. So, and, and we all, you know, we were hands on, you know, I cleaned and helped to serve breakfast. And so you have that experience. So I had that experience and I was like, you know, I was like, I think I could do that. And, uh, and it's, I love it. Like, I really love it. I love my weddings. I love my events. But I think the bed and breakfast and getting to know people on that personal level is just been really incredible. And you created an opportunity. So that's yes. extra business. Oh, absolutely. That's extra ways for her to meet the public and absolutely. network her business, which is fabulous. Yes. I think uh, in Madison, that's a that's a good attribute to have is to know how to create an opportunity. Definitely. So you've Definitely. done a great job with Thank that. Thank you. And I, like I said, I'm excited. We just joined the chamber and it's it's now time for me. We've been on the property now for six months. It was time for me to kind of move from working in the business to now working on the business yes. and meeting those uh Networking. Having, networking and with getting relationships yes. with other um, you know people in Madison so that you know we're right here oh and I know your dad I've met him two or three times mm -hmm. now he is he's really neat you need to come out while he's here I don't know how long he's gonna stay <laughs> we're hoping he we're hoping he, he might leave and then come back so yeah. <laughs> but you know he's done the bed and breakfast for 10 years and obviously he enjoyed it because he's here with you while his wife has gone to Ireland yes so yes so he, he's going to be here helping you get things put together. They were, they have been ama amazing. It, it really is a family affair. And he's smiling all the time. All the time, all the time. And uh, he's he's probably m my biggest hero. So and and I, I owe a lot of you know my personality, and my work ethic to my father and my stepmother as well. Yes. She's amazing. And uh, but it really is a family affair here. So I have uh, my sisters Molly and Hannah. They're 23, and they live here on the property. There is a third floor apartment. And so they're here full time and they are my innkeepers and my housekeepers and they help me every day in running the business. And when I can't be here, I do not live on the property yet. That is in our future and in our plan that we will also be here full time. Right. But I'm once again blessed beyond, beyond measure that my family has come to help support my dream. You know, not not their dream. It's my dream, right. and I think that just just having family. I've been away for almost thirty years from upstate New York, and so now when I come here every day, I get to see my family, and it's it's just it warms my heart. That's great. There's nothing better than working with your family it's, and being yeah. able to see them all the time. It's just and then it's great when you can go home too. It is. It is. It actually yes. It is great. But I, but I do have to say, so I am, Pauline has the best of both worlds. I do. I really am looking forward though to when this is our home. Yes. Um, there's a lot to do Which and is, and being um, away. And I'm only an hour away. I'm in Lawrenceburg, so it's not like I'm super far. But definitely looking forward to where we are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we've got some plans you know going with that and we're hoping sooner than later that we'll be here full-time so now is there anything big that you have planned for Richwood anything big I mean I definitely have some big plans but they're definitely 
years down, down, the, down road. the road. We, we have had quite a few people that have actually come on the property for tours, for weddings, thinking that one of our barns is the venue. And you know, barn weddings, they've been popular for quite a while. I, I think they will be for, for quite a while, that yes. kind of shabby chic and, and country wedding type venue. And the one barn that we have, which was originally the indoor riding arena when this property was yes. an all girls riding academy, is definitely has the structure for an amazing venue that we could easily do 500 people in. So that is, it's it's on my very long <laughs> list of things that we would like to do is to turn that one barn into uh, another ven venue on the property oh, wow. to then accommodate. Then we would need to have a tent. And I can tell you from just returning from the Montana Bridal Walk that weddings in the West are an excellent mm -hmm. concept. Yes. I mean, yes. it just opens the door to a new concept um, of more laid back, subdued, but you still get that extra element of creativity. Absolutely. So she has the refined, um, you just have all levels of venues yes. that you offer. Yeah. Yes. So that is a neat, that's a neat idea. So it's definitely, it's definitely something that's on our radar of things we want to do. The other thing that we're, we're kind of thinking is the possibility of maybe actually purchasing a tent and having that structure up for an extended period of time. Yes. I think sometimes when people come on the property and they're the 200 or above, just the whole aspect of now having to hire another vendor to put yes. up a structure. And that, as, as a wedding coordinator, that was my forte, outside tented events. So that's another thing we're thinking of. The other project that once again is on the list <laughs> is we have uh, one of the cabins is called Lakeview. Yes. Now it's not really looking at a lake anymore. It's looking more a, at a puddle. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and we're not going to change it to the Puddle View cabins. No. Um, so we would like, and we've talked with a couple of people about what we would need to do to bring that lake back. Yes. And I would love to have that. I'd love to have some maybe like paddle boats. I'd love to stock it so that people could fish if they want to. And just to have some more areas on the property for people to say, oh, we're going to go down by the lake today and like have a picnic a and, and do stuff. So there's definitely areas that we would like to build up a little yes. bit. I'd like to, we have three beautiful ceremony sites on the property. Right. I'd love to turn some of them into doing some maybe uh, flagstone um, walkways so that, because a lot of brides are like, oh, I want to do an aisle runner and oh. doing an aisle runner on grass, on grass is not always the best idea. No. So to create some really nice aisleways and have some more permanent structures um, where the ceremonies take place as well as for pictures. So I'm sure there will be ongoing activities and projects for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> lots of but plans. Lots, and lots, and of, lots of potential, which that's is right. really wonderful. So, And I think that's with, with moving and living here on the property, right. those would be things that would be much easier for me to, to accomplish. Yes. For you to watch over and make sure it's done the way you need it to be done. Absolutely. Because so I am very controlling. No. <laughs> You need to be you too. You, so. you, you do need to, but yeah. it's it's uh, it's it's wonderful to keep all of those projects in mind of, of what we can right. do and how to make Richwood better. And you know some of the other things. And I know Mary Beth and I had discussed um, a few few things. And you know once again this all takes planning. But you know I'd love to do tea lunches here. Yes. I'd love to do um, you know invite Madison or or Milton area to do an Easter egg hunt on the property. I'd love to have open mic night. You know in our carriage house and bring some local musicians. There I think there's lots of things that we can do to incorporate the community to say when they have an event or an affair that they want to do that Richwood comes to their mind yes and like I said all of that takes planning and work and you know I'm that's why I'm moving in the direction of working working on the business mm -hmm. and you're working with professional networking the chamber yes. I'm sure they'll be Which, very happy yes, yes. Excited. Uh, Lindsay it will be very happy to help plan those events with you and encourage people to come over here absolutely yes. so absolutely. that's a good networking tool um, something stepping out of your traditional box here with the weddings and the, the bed and breakfast is Derby yes, yes. Absolutely. 
Okay. Derby. Well, you know, Derby to me is a little new. You know, I'm I'm a New Yorker who was transplanted to Indiana, and now I'm I'm soon to be in Kentucky. Uh, so Derby is still something that's kind of new and different for me. Uh, I do know that it's a very very popular event. It is a very popular, and event. you know that that we used to have horses on the property as well. So there is a little bit of history with that. But I'm fortunate enough to have maybe a Derby expert sitting next to me. Um, but I know that um, that you have been doing a Derby party here for quite a number of years. The last four years, we yes. have partaken in a great Derby celebration. Um, I, you know, you don't get married every year, but you you can and celebrate yes. Derby. So <laughs> luckily for, for myself, this has been a wonderful selection. I participated in Derby with uh, my work before where I was able to attend some of those very nice events overcrowded of course <laughs> but the venue is you know is amazing um, but to me this is the best place uh, for me and my friends on Derby Day we have a wonderful time here the it's good food good company good taste um, which I feel are so essential in a celebration so this place to me is a second home during Derby it is and I'm excited that I'm now going to be able to experience that so that way the next time somebody asks me about Derby I'll have a little bit more um, information and background you will definitely have the experience I need a yeah. hat I, I have to go oh, and I think, I'm, I, think I might know where to go for yes. that so we can set you up with a hat absolutely but I, I do I, I think for people who want to attend Derby we've been very flexible with the guests list as as the years have uh, passed I think it's something that we want to move to that's more philanthropic approaching um, charity is important to us and this event is is just great for Kentucky Anna it, it is, it is. Um, you can you it's the next best thing to being there um, it's not millionaires row but it's a close second mm -hmm. so um, I feel very proud to have been a part of this celebration and to be a part of your property thank for you four years. thank you we're excited and I'm very excited Excited to experience that and you know going back to when we were talking about working with the chamber and, and, and building those relationships the first thing that they offered to me was a ribbon cutting yes. and I was so excited and I had mentioned them I was like, oh well that works great because you know we're doing the open house on the 24th that's a Sunday and of course the chamber is not open on a Sunday so we're having the ribbon cutting the next day yes. Monday uh, the 25th of April noon. the chamber comes out and we all Visit if you have cookies or I tea will. There'll or, be there'll be some light yes. little finger foods and, and some coffee and tea. Absolutely, and that gives everybody an opportunity to network with you mm -hmm. and to visit the property and go around and look and see what they what you have. Yes, and then of course we do the ribbon cutting and uh, you get to cut the ribbon. I'm so excited. So it's it's wonderful to have new businesses join the chamber because that is an important networking tool. It is. And some people don't realize that, but if you're a part of the chamber, you have all these things at your fingertips that you can use to help build your business, to help network with other people in Madison, Milton, some of them are in Carrollton. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the Madison Area Chamber of Commerce, and I like the word area mm -hmm. because that engulfs everything that touches Madison. Absolutely. So we have all that opportunity there that we really need to tap into. Absolutely. And it's definitely uh, a chamber that I've already noticed that the more you put into it as a business, the more you're yeah. going to get out of it. Yes. So it's very active. And, and throughout my career and in the different places that I have um, lived, I have always joined a chamber. I've always tried to do like uh, that type of membership as well as then something that's more event wedding. Yes. Um, association, which I do as well. But you do. The more that you work in that the more you're going to get out of it. So, and that's what I enjoy doing. So that means we get to see you the last Wednesday of every month. We I hope so. At, 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 at Work <laughs> at Wednesday, right? Work, work at Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. yes. Wednesday women, happens. Women, women on fire. Work at Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wednesday. I, I have to finagle a couple things. Wednesday is my day to to volunteer at my church. Oh. Um, but it's volunteer, so I can you know I can do that. Well, it's only the last it's only Wednesday. The, it's only the, the last Wednesday. So you exactly. can do three so, over there yes. and one over here. So and yes. something that Debbie and I just attended last week was the Madison Rotary Club, which is awesome for a yes. professional networking tool too. Okay. And that may connect you into the you know the industry sector, mm -hmm. the, the the portion where you feel uh, you know may really yes. help. Um, create a synergy with that type of clients that you may want to utilize. They, they, sometimes they just need the peace and quiet. Absolutely. That's a great idea. I have to look into yes. that. And we saw a couple. Especially once they understand what you have. Mm -hmm. yes. All the yes. amenities and things. And I have noticed, which was 
maybe something that I did not realize is there are a good number of people in Madison that have never been over here. That's true. And and, yeah. and some of them didn't even know we were here. Yes. So that's why I think it's, it's so important for me to now get over there and really start meeting people and having them know that we're, right. we're available and what we are and what we can offer. And with this region, of course, if you narrow it down and make it a little smaller, you've got Henry, Trimble, Carroll, Oldham, Owen, Shelby County, Crestwood, and then in Indiana you have Jefferson, Jenny, Scott, Switzerland, Dearborn, yeah. Floyd, Clark, Batesville, Batesville you know, yep. yeah. that area, there's a lot of there's population lot. there that have to go to Louisville, Cincinnati, Indianapolis to do things mm -hmm. as far as venues. They don't have to go that far now. No, no. no. We, no. We've been talking a little bit about uh, uh, our tagline in some areas, and it's it's the destination venue in your backyard. Yes. And perfect. it really does. It, it, in, in a lot of my events that are here, I mean, I do have some couples that their 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 ties are their history is here but they yes. live in Los Angeles I have some from the East Coast I have Florida but they have family coming from you know uh, Indiana they have family coming from Columbus or yes. Cleveland Ohio and then people coming up from Louisville or Lexington and we're just such a great central location yes. for them to all be at and then once again you get the venue for an extended period of time yes. so and I am doing I just booked another family reunion during the the week they arrive on Monday and they leave on Thursday and they have the entire property oh, to themselves wow. 40 of their family members can come here and enjoy what we have for them you know and it's private it's just them and us but <laughs> but that's mostly, a, that's mostly a, them that's they become vacation. intertwined in their family absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. so we have a lot to offer and we're very excited about it oh that's wonderful now do we have anything else we need to make sure people know about Richwood well I for right now the the phone number that we have for Richwood it's uh, it's my personal cell phone but that is the only number and that's 513-515-6125 and our website is richwoodontheriver.com all the information about our venue and about what we offer is on our website and we you know love to give tours and any information that people need about the property but, uh, but yeah, the open house is on the 24th from 2 to 5. The ribbon cutting is the following day, Monday the 25th. And, uh, and other than that, we're, we're here to, to service whatever uh, the, our clients need, and we're happy to do so. Now, people that want to do a venue here, if they stop by, you usually have an event going on. Is it still all right for them to just slip into the office and check and see? We have had a couple of people that have come on the property yes. during during an event. If I am doing like a ceremony in the front of the house, we'll usually block off the driveways. But if the okay. drive, driveways are open, um, I am certainly welcoming people on the property. I think most people, if they see an event is going on, they they're know. very respectful. Mm -hmm. they and are. they usually come and find myself or my other staff members, and I'm happy to give them some information. I usually cannot give them any kind of extensive oh, tour yes. but they're they're welcome to come here and and you know get some information and I think it's kind of important for people to see you know how this feels when there are all these people or these events happening on the property I think so, so people definitely need to stop as they're traveling uh, to and from on highway 36 and stop by and see Colleen because I guarantee once you step through the doors and, and you even have you just you have won't a look. leave. You won't want to leave. Yes. I just I just had a couple of people stop by last week. This one gentleman, uh, he has he does business in Cincinnati. His friends live right next to the Riverview Inn and Suites. And he said, I have been driving by here for the last six years. And he goes, Today I said I'm pulling in the driveway. And he said he wants to do a, a getaway with his wife and so I love it, you know, stop oh, by. Nice. We're actually in the process of uh, changing over our sign. So that should be done by our open house. And so we're, we're moving from Richwood Plantation to Richwood on the River. But I, I just, I don't think plantation will ever go away. That will definitely be part of this property for a long time. But we just felt it was time to move uh, in a different direction from the plantation name and Richwood on the River. And there is a Richwood, Kentucky that yes, is nowhere is. near the river. So <laughs> my husband came up with Richwood Richwood on the river and immediately I said that's it that's yeah. the name for us so but nonetheless the southern hospitality the southern aspect of the decorating to the tea to the breakfast yes. to all the amenities on this property I guarantee you are worth the travel and the visit yes. to come 
it is. The, just the just the ambiance of everything just really makes it a memorable experience when you come here and stay. So. And then we when we love people to come back again and again and again. So I'm sure most of them do. Yeah, I know I have. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. We've been here I don't know how many times. Yes. So yes. We make sure we come back. Um, now, do we need to tell anybody anything else? Just, more about I think just just to remember of all the things that about? Colleen has to offer here yes. any type of venue you may have any type of party family reunion social gathering yes. this is the place to be this is a great entertaining place um, she is a great event planner and it looks like all the amenities are here under one roof which makes things for us a lot less challenging yes <laughs> and if they're not under the roof she can get them within a couple of hours absolutely absolutely we can be your one-stop shop yes. for all your event needs. Well, we have had a wonderful time. Mary Beth and I have thoroughly enjoyed being here with Colleen, and you must check it out. Go to the website, give them a call, or stop by. We really appreciate you watching. <laughs>